everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm featuring the adorable little monkey from the new 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. This is one of my favorite sets in the uh, catalog. It's so cute. The monkeys are adorable and I can use my Stampin' Blends to color them. Now, I've got two other projects where I do use Stampin' Blends, but I wanted to give you an alternate. If you don't want to color, I'm going to show you how you can make a monkey without coloring at all. Now, this is a treat box, and inside the treat box, I always look for uh, special treats that uh, go with the stamps, and in here is a banana marshmallow pie from Little Debbie. Now, Little Debbie, here I can just find them at Walmart, my local grocery store, um, but Little Debbie has a website. You can go to it. There's a button in the top right corner that says Snack Finder. Enter your zip code, and it will tell you exactly where you can find these in your area all right let's make our box you need a piece of garden green that is ten and a fourth by five and three fourths on the long side you're going to score it at one and a fourth four and a half five and three fourths and nine now i whoops whoops jump the track i have a free pdf over my blog with these measurements so don't feel like you have to scratch them down um you can print that pdf pdf or save it to your computer all right, on the short side, I've got a one and a fourth inch score line and a four and a half inch score line. All right, there is our main piece. Grab your bone folder. You wanna burnish your lines. This will help your box stay nice and crisp and square. And then you're gonna need to get your paper snips or your scissors and we're going to cut the score lines on the long side so snip them each one and then on the square tab cut the corners off all right so we're going to do that to all six of the square tabs cut the score line and then snip snip this is a clamshell box, which means the top um, folds down over the bottom. And I've used several greens for this box. We're using garden green for the actual box. And then we're using granny apple green and our new lemon lime twist for our leaves. And one more. The free PDF on my blog not only has the measurements, but it will have your complete supply list as well. All right, there is what your piece looks like. I'm going to use um, liquid glue and some clothespins to hold my box together. I'm going to start just on one end and I'm going to put liquid glue on the four tabs. Then I'm going to fold them in. Make sure it's square right there on the edge. Grab one of my clothespins and clip it just to hold that down while I am working with the rest of it. I like liquid glue here where I live. We live in a pretty humid climate, so I find that liquid glue is my best bet. Our tear and tape and stamp and seal plus are also really good choices. You'll have to see which one works best where you live. Let's see, I wanna make sure that that is nice and square. So make sure those edges line up before you get that clothespin. All right, now these are just gonna fold into the other end. Like this, there's one. And there's the other one. And we will let this sit for a few minutes while we do all the other things. All right, all right, there we go. Let's set that aside. Let's do some stamping. I have several pieces here. We're gonna start with, we'll start from the bottom to the top. I've got a piece of Lemon Lolly here that's another new color and I'm going to take my 
Lemon Lolly ink pad, and I'm just gonna stamp these cute little bananas all over, turning my paper and my stamp as I go, because I, I want them to just be kind of random. There we go, kind of create your own pattern paper. And then we will attach that to a Daffodil Delight square. Again, measurements will be on that PDF. All right, next, let's stamp our sentiment and our monkey. We're gonna use Pecan Pie. This is one of our new colors, our new neutrals. I love it. We're gonna stamp this, and I want you to notice this is gonna fit in this punch. When you punch these other things, there's all these other things around it. So you want to line up your image on your cardstock. I like to do it so that I waste as little paper as possible. So I'm gonna put him down in that corner. Pecan pie ink on pecan pie cardstock. And then I'm gonna punch him out right there. Now we're also going to cut punch this part right here. This is the little face. Now you could leave your monkey like that, but I wanted to make him two-toned. So I'm going to punch out the face and the inside of the ears. Now the inside of the ears are very small, so I want to make sure that I don't lose them. All right, there they are right there. Okay, so now we'll stamp also our little um, banana, which is over here on my other tray. All right, now we're gonna stamp two bananas and the bananas can be punched also. So I'm gonna stamp them down here on the corner so I can go punch and punch like that. One. And two, also in, whoops, also in our pecan pie ink. There's one. And two. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of inking. I'm gonna grab my grid paper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of ink to these pieces right here. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to pick them up. They're, these two are, these two little ears are very small. Your take your pick tool will really help you handle them. I'm gonna add some ink to the edges of them um, to kind of help this blend into the rest of our monkey. I'm gonna stamp the face in pecan pie. This is crumb cake ink. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Now I'm gonna get a little um, dauber. I'm gonna get a little bit of ink and I'm gonna use these pinchers. These are from our um, embossing accessory kit and it will really help you hold on to this guy as we add ink. Now, there's his little face. That wasn't too hard, but these guys are gonna be a little bit difficult. So I'm actually gonna pinch them and I'm gonna add the ink like this, just around the edges. P pinch it open, turn it. If you have nails like me, it is even <laughs> a little more difficult, but so cute. All right, let's put that one right there. And then we'll get this one and grab it. Let's try that again. I'm trying to pinch it down here close to, well, goodness, I need my glasses. I'm trying to hold it closed so that when I add the ink, it doesn't come flying out. Okay, so there we have our two little ears. Let's grab our little guy and our liquid glue again. And I'm gonna put some glue right here, a little glue there, a little glue there. And then I'm gonna bring back my take your pick tool and we'll set that. Oh my goodness, maybe I need some new putty. 
set that right there. And we'll get the other one. Set that right there. And then you can use your, your little pointy part, your little piercer to get it in the right place. And then there's his face. <laughs> Super cute. All right, now he's got a banana in his hand. So while I have him here, let's go ahead and add a banana like that. And there is our little monkey. All right. The next thing we're going to do is punch out a few leaves from Granny Apple Green and Lemon Lime Twist. I think I'll do two Granny Apple Greens and one Lemon Lime Twist. And then we're going to arrange it. Well, actually, we need to stamp our sentiment too, don't we? Um, bring back your pecan pie. I have a strip of basic white, and I'm going to stamp on bananas about you. I thought that was a good one since the treat inside is banana flavored. I'm going to flag the end of this by cutting a little slit there in the middle of the end, and then connecting the end of that to the corners like that. All right, bring your dimensionals. We're going to use a lot of them. And we'll put that right in the middle, right about there. And then we will add some of our tropical leaves. And we'll put one right down here like that. And then, of course, the star of the show, our cutie little guy right here. And I think I'm going to move this up just a little bit so it's not hanging out the box too much. And then we've got one more banana. And I think I'm going to put it down here like this, kind of overlapping that. Grab my Take Your Pick tool. And we'll put that down like that. Okay, now bring back your box. It should be dry. And let's put our little Debbie marshmallow pie in there. And it closes like that. And then we'll put some glue on the top of our box. Add our little monkey. And last but not least, I have a bolt of Parakeet Party twine. Parakeet Party is another one of our fun tropical greens. I'm going to tie a double bow. Little snip, snip. And a glue dot. And We'll put that right there. And there is a fun little treat box, perfect for your little monkey. Now don't forget the um, free PDF has the measurements. It has um, the supply list and on my blog post, it has two other little monkey projects for you with videos. So make sure you check them out. All right, everybody have fun stamping. Thanks. Bye-bye.